It's another day and they typically start pretty early. We've been waking up at like 6.37. Today was a seven. So we are going to go for our morning walk. I'm going to go see my dog at about noon and I may or may not take Boudreaux with me. I'm, I still haven't decided yet. He's so precious. is the weather to do it in. I'm thinking by lunchtime, we'll be in and I'm going to feed and check on my dog. I might take both of them to the dog park. It just depends on how they get along and whatnot. I brought him to the house yesterday when I went to Bible study. And Boudreaux knew Noah was there, but Noah didn't know Boudreaux was there. So that was interesting. I mean, it worked out. It was very chill. Especially to have two dogs in the house. My dog usually, come on Boudreaux, 
isn't in the house, but like I said, it stormed very badly yesterday. I almost thought it was a tornado or a hurricane or something. Things were just a flying. shortly after it started and plants were already knocked over the vases and everything so it was rough so I brought my dog in for a moment yesterday while Boudreaux was there yesterday night when we got back. hotels have room keys that allow the elevator to work and that's kind of how it is when you live in this building in these lofts um, you need a room key this thing that you get when you have a room uh, only that works the elevator in addition to that and having the cameras I think that they have great security available for this building my sister had asked me if this was a place that I would consider moving to. And while it is beautiful and has all of these amenities and just perks and stuff. Oh, hi Boudreaux. Hi Boudreaux. I personally want something more affordable and less crowded. I don't even hang out in the downtown area. I get irritable with traffic. Um, I like to have my own space. There's definitely nothing wrong with this place at all. Go ahead and free Boudreaux. Oh crap. Excuse me Boudreaux, you're sitting on the leash. Extremely chill. We came, of course, to my place. We are getting ready to walk to the dog park. And I would take my dog to the dog park more often, but my dog does not like the dog park. We go over there and he just sits there by me. He literally doesn't play with the toys, he doesn't play with other dogs, he doesn't do anything. And typically, there's not other dogs around when I go, it's not very populated. Boudreaux, oh, I didn't mean to put it on him while he was taking a poop. He's definitely the type to play with toys and stuff, so I'm gonna go see how he responds to the dog park. And then we'll head back into town. He just sat down. Come on! That was intentional. What are you eating, Boudreaux? interested in walking that far to the dog park he's such a calm spirited pooch look at him 
he just popped a squat. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be down to make the walk to the dog park because he's already been trying to chill. Just randomly laying down in the grass and stuff. He's ready to go home, honestly. <laughs> good productive day I was able to come to the house and get some editing done it looks like we're walking to the dog park if we make it okay if he turns around we'll come tomorrow I'm glad he's been doing well I was able to come home and uh, get some stuff done and be productive literally just heard Boudreaux bark for the first time. Boudreaux, what are you doing? Can you see what I have to do to keep Boudreaux away from him? What are you doing? Oh, That's it. <laughs> I think we're gonna go in. Walked up to the door and everything. How cute is he though? He's just so calm. Boudreaux keeps trying to attack him and he's just staying on chill mode. Mom, Dad. <laughs> he was thirsty. <laughs> He's really trying to barge his way in. He's clearly an inside dog. Mm -mm -mm. You, you can't do all of that, sir. You gotta go back to your owner. My parents are gonna have a field day when they see when they see what's been going on on their porch. And he's crying. You can hear him. Door. You don't live here. You don't live here. Y'all, that was kind of a lot. I was not expecting that dog to try to find a new home with us. That was a bit much. <laughs> we were out there walking. We bumped into my neighbor, Akane. We've been friends since the fifth grade. We're not technically friends. We're neighbors, but you know what I mean. It's been a long time coming. So it was good to see and chat it up with her a little bit. She got to meet Boudreaux. At first she thought I got a new pooch. And I was like, I know I'm looking rough, but I'm gonna grab some gas and then we're gonna head back to the crib.